Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So we are still traveling along the North Coast. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, I was forced to take the day off yesterday because of the FLU. <laughs> yeah, man, the flu. Now, depending on how I feel tomorrow, I might take the day off as well. Anyway, yeah, man, I'm taking my meds. I'm drinking my fluid. But... Let's see how tomorrow goes, all right? Now, in the news today, first up, we are learning that early Wednesday morning, December 13, the Jamaica Constabulary Force Fugitive Apprehension Team, they carried out raids at different locations in the parish of St. James. They went in search of three guys who are wanted on extradition warrants in the United States of America for mail fraud, money laundering, wire fraud, and other latches scamming charges at paradise heights a 26 year old guy named tajay singh he was nabbed at montego bay west village a 31 year old guy named jason Plummer, he was picked up now the police they went to another house at st mark's drive in paradise heights but the 38 year old guy who is also wanted he was not found both tajay and jason they are now in police custody, awaiting extradition hearing. <laughs> ah boy. Now, later in the day, a team of police officers from the Latruscam Task Force, they carried out a raid at Felicity Road in the Glendevan area. The home of a 23-year-old guy named Lawrence Grant, who is said to be a big-time chopper, was searched. The police, they are saying that they confiscated two cell phones and a laptop. They were analyzed and several files with identity information for persons residing overseas were seen. The police, they are also saying that several dialed overseas numbers were seen on the phones. They also found credit card and banking information. As a result, they charged Lawrence Grant for lottery scamming charges. Also in the afternoon, a 31-year-old guy named Calvin Watson. He is living at Bamboo Drive in the Hopewell area of Hanover. It is alleged that Calvin, he went to the Sangsta International Airport to collect a package that was shipped via FedEx. When the officials at the airport checked the package, five overseas credit cards were found hidden inside of it. Calvin, he was asked why he didn't declare what was in the package but he couldn't give a satisfactory answer. As a result, he was arrested and charged by members of the Latruscam Task Force for the offenses of possession of access device and trafficking access device. So, they'll be going to the courts shortly. Now, still in St. James, a businessman, he's said to be in his early 30s. His name is Matthew Morrison. He's living at a Starlight Avenue, Ligani address in Kingston. He has been arrested and charged by detectives in Montego Bay for fraudulent conversion. The allegations are that in 2021, Matthew Morrison, he used to operate a car dealership at Carl Gardens in St. James. That year, in 2021, a 34-year-old female realtor paid him over 1 million Jamaican dollars as a down payment to import a Toyota Voxy for her. Matthew Morrison, he did not import the car and we are told that it's a lot of persons he scammed that way. He stopped taking phone calls and he subsequently shut down the car dealership. He then fled the area and went to live in Kingston. As a result, a report was made to the police who commenced investigations. Last week, Wednesday, December 6, the police, acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid in Kingston and Matthew, he was picked up. He was brought back to Montego Bay where he was charged for fraudulent conversion and he'll be going to the courts shortly. Still in St. James, 
a well-known cokehead has been arrested and charged by the police. His name is Adrian Stone. He is 29 years old and he is living at Narwood in the parish of St. James. We are told that sometime last month, staff members of the Mount Alvernia High School in Montego Bay, they securely locked up the school and went away. When they returned to school, they realized that it was broken into. One of the windows was forced open. A locker with over 40,000 Jamaican dollars was stolen. Now, CCTV footage for the school was viewed and there was Quoked Adrian breaking into the school and stealing the stuffs. As a result, the police commenced investigations and started searching for Adrian. On Friday, December 8th, Quoked Adrian he was picked up by the police along Orange Street in Montego Bay. He has since been charged for schoolhouse breaking and larceny, and he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next story, listen to this now. Last week, Thursday morning, about some minutes to 9 o'clock, a Chinese businessman in Montego Bay, he gave the security guard who is employed at his store some money to go and lodge at a bank in Montego Bay. While the security guard was waiting in line, he saw a guy on the steps outside. The security guard, he lodged the money and he went outside to go back to his workplace. The guy on the staircase called out to the security guard, telling him that he had a gun and he wants all the money he had. The security guard told him that he already lodged all of the money. The hoodlum, who is popularly known as Ghost, he then hugged the security guard and pushed a gun to his side, telling him that he might go want some money, otherwise he might go dead. Ghost, he then took the security guard's phone number and instructed him to go to the Chinese for some money and he will call him and tell him where to meet him with it. The security guard, he walked off, but he saw some police officers and he told them about what just took place. While he was there talking to the police officers, Ghost called. He asked the security guard if he got the money from his boss. The security guard told him yes. We are told that Ghost, he arranged with the security guard to meet him behind the Hilo supermarket. The police officers, they coordinated with the security guard and went with him to the Hilo supermarket where Ghost, he was pointed out to the police. His current name is Saeed Reed. He is 24 years old and he's living at Makati Street in Montego Bay. Ghost, he was held by the police and he was subsequently charged for assault with intent to rob. Possession of a prohibited weapon and using a firearm to commit a felony. So, Ghost, he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next story, we are learning that yesterday, Thursday, December 14, about 12 midday, a worker was cutting the grass at the Jam World Complex in Portmore when he saw a human skull in the grass. The police, they were notified and they came in and processed the crime scene. An investigation is being done to ascertain whose human skull it is and what may have caused this person's demise. In this next story, no, in Wednesday's video, I told you that on Monday afternoon, December 11, about 5.30, a team of police officers were on an operation in the old Hellshire Beach Road area of Portmore when they stumbled upon the body of a man. This man, he was seen lying on his right side with his hands bound behind him with an orange electrical extension card. His feet were bound with a black shirt and a piece of cloth was tied around his neck. This man, he appeared to have been killed a few hours before he was found by the police. I told you that he was not yet identified and as soon as he was identified, I was going to be updating the story. Well, there he is on your screen. His name is Miguel Anthony Smart. He was born on January 10, 1985, 38 years old, and he was living at Sylvester Drive in the Spanish Town area of St. Catherine. So, an investigation is being carried out to find out who killed Miguel and why. 
the mayhem. Now, this next incident, it took place yesterday evening. Thursday, December 14, about 6.30. It took place at Fisherman Tavern at the Old Abba Bay Fishing Village in St. Catherine. Our information is that a man. His name is Danavan Colin Taylor, but he was popularly known as Danman. Danman was born on May 5, 1987, 36 years old, and he was said to be a fisherman, and he lived at Narayan Lane in the Old Abba Bay area of St. Catherine. Danman, he was in the bar having a drink when he was approached by a hoodlum who was armed with a gun. The hoodlum, he opened gunfire hitting Danman to his upper body. That man fell to the ground and the hoodlum, he ran out of the bar making good his escape on foot in the area. That man, he was rushed to the Mapen Hospital by a relative but it was too late. He was pronounced D-E-A-D on arrival. The police, they were called and when they processed this crime scene, two 9mm specials were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. Now, in the final story for today, on Wednesday, I carried a story. It was about the shooting death of a guy named Randy. Randy was shot and killed Tuesday night, December 12, about 8 o'clock. This took place along the roadway at Hibiscus Drive in the Hamilton Gardens area of Gregory Park in Portmore. I told you that residents of the area, they heard gunshots being fired. When the shooting subsided, they went and made checks. Randy, he was seen lying along the roadway with gunshot wounds to his upper body. He died on this spot. Now, there is Randy on your screen. His correct name is Randy Barnett. He was born on May 25, 1973, 50 years old. And he lived in the same area where he was killed, Hamilton Gardens. So, what we are finding out is that Randy's brother, his name is Marlon Jomo Barnett, but he's popularly known as Short Boss. There is Short Boss on your screen. For years, Short Boss, he has been wanted by the St. Catherine Police for various crimes committed in the area. Short Boss, he had even escaped police custody. So, is this a case where hoodlums, them can't catch Short Boss, so them kill him, brother? Well, early yesterday morning, Thursday, December 14, about a few minutes after 8 o'clock, hoodlums were out to avenge the death of Randy. The police, they received intelligence as to where the hoodlums were, so a team of police officers proceeded to the location. We are told that on the arrival of the police, three hoodlums with guns in hands were seen standing in front of a premises. On seeing the police, the hoodlums, they ran to the back of the premises. The police officers chased them and the hoodlums, they jumped over a concrete perimeter fence and onto the compound of the Gregory Park Primary School. We are told that the hoodlums, they opened gunfire at the police and the police officers, they did what it takes to save their lives. The hoodlums, they ran off in separate directions. Now, when the smoke was cleared, one of the hoodlums, he was found lying on the ground with gunshot wounds to his upper body. A black and gold Taurus 9mm pistol with the serial number intact, affixed with a magazine containing three live rounds, were found beside him. This guy, who has not yet been identified, he was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E the mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite.
Murder, don't you be a bit me here, them a murder Go to talk, tell 